that we got going on around these parts. Ding. Hey there, Estelle. Have you been busy lately? I've been kind of sad you haven't been been by to buy junk food lately. Woo! Now that you mention it, she has been disappearing pretty pretty often on the way home from training. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Eating cookies and snacks is is the right of any girl my age. <laughs> Stop by again when you've got a day off. I'll look into those sneakers you like so much. Sneakers style. I heard Stephen Hasty wears sneakers. That's what I heard. It looks like my son is too busy with running his store to worry about other things. Men reach manhood status by having a family and rearing children, not by staying single. I guess this is my time to give a helping hand as a mother. A mother style. Do 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 do. All right. Hey there. So I've heard the news that you've started work as bracers. How's everything coming along? We're surviving so far. And we managed to deal with the monster problem at the Purzel farm. I see. It seems you have what it takes, after all, to become adequate fill-ins for Cassius in his absence. Tropical Punch Prime. But Estelle, don't be a handful for Joshua. Why am I the one who always gets lectured? I see. It looks like you've already managed to become capable bracers yourselves. And Estelle, don't be a handful for Joshua. Tell me what to do, sir. Kick your ass. Do, 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 do. So we can get some spikes. A pair of shoes with pointy non-skid soles. Should also probably get a pair of, of leather boots. A pair of tanned leather boots, light and fleeksable. You know, because Lancer likes getting... Getting at least one of everything. Do 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 spikes. We'll get a pair of those for you as well. Do 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 do. Defensive by five. Spikes. Do, 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 do. We're coming along, man. It's pretty sweet. We don't have enough for an armor vest for you yet, but oh, sure we'll get that eventually. You'll need to work hard so you can give your father a good report. Just don't overdo it. Moderation is the key in everything. Okay, we know already. You're still young and inexperienced, so there's no shame in asking those around you for help. Especially you, Joshua. You're the type to keep all your feelings pent up inside, right? That's been a source of concern for me. I'm sorry if I've caused you any undue worry. I'm not worried about Estelle being unable to share her feelings with the world, though. <laughs> Wait a sec, that doesn't sound like a compliment. Maybe it is. Oh, well, no, nobody said your outspokenness was a bad thing. You're still young, young and inexperienced. But there's no shame in asking those around you for help. Need any advice, I'm always here. I hear Stephen Hasty likes to ask people for help. That's what I heard. Well, hey there! You two new bracers seem to be having some success lately. 
I've been hearing a lot about your hard work recently. Yeah, that's because we're still new at this, so we have to work extra hard. Indeed we do. That's encouraging to hear. You guys actually came at a good time. I've got an urgent job that needs to be taken care of. Do you think that should be up to the task of replacing an ore line in our road lamp along the Milchbane Road? It's so. You just leave it to us. If you're fine with us doing the job, then we'll gladly accept. Thanks, I really appreciate this. I completely forgot it needed to be replaced today. First off, I'll need to give you the replacement part. Orbit light. This is the replacement orbit? That's right. I want you to replace the orbit light in road lamp number 6 on the Milchbane Road to the west. Oh, okay. It's the 6th road lamp that you'll come across counting from Roland's west entrance. Make sure you get the right one. I think I've got it. The 6th road lamp from Roland's west entrance, right? Once you've found the road lamp, you'll need to open the maintenance panel. You'll need a 6-digit combination to open it. Combination? Are you serious? Yep. The combination for the 6th road lamp is 544818. Hmm. I'm sorry, but could you repeat that again? God damn it, Carmen! It's 544818. That's right. Good memory, Joshua. I'll show you a fistful. After the combination is entered, the panel will open, and after that, all that's left is to replace the ornament. It may seem like a simple task, but make sure not to mess it up. The road lamp may have been out of order for a while now. I see. The light of the orbments keep the large monsters away, right? It's not much more than an unconscious dislike for them. But if they do go out, then we run into real problems. Uh-oh. Which is why I'm asking you to do this job, just in case. These road lamps are placed just off the roads in areas where monsters are most likely to appear. Well, you just leave those monsters to me and I'll take care of them. I heard Stephen Hasty likes monsters. But I better write down that combination before I forget. Then maybe you should let me deal with the combination instead. I'll leave it up to you two to divide up the work amongst yourselves. That should be everything you need to know, so good luck! If you need to double Based check or pepper. cancel the job, then come and talk with me again. Cool. Can I help you with something else? To uh, cancel the job, we could quit like a bag of stars. And good luck on the job. That'd be awesome, man. Do, 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 we need more sapphires. I hear that the airliners are equipped with huge machines called orbital engines or some such thing. They're said to use an orbit structure as well. It seems like some bigwig professor was the one who developed them. Heh, <laughs> now that's something to talk about. Uh -huh. Ten years ago, the Imperial Army broke through our borders in great numbers and trampled the entire kingdom. But, but we were able to drive them out through a darn near miraculous lightning quick military operation. Without that plan, Roland would probably be a part of the Empire's territory today. I was assigned to the unit in Roland and fought in the war, but my leg was injured by a piece of flying shrapnel. He took an arrow to the knee and was forced to become a bartender. That's a fact. Recently, my husband has been doing well with his work. I wish my father would just recognize him as a suitable successor. Bow style. <laughs> In the timber industry, woodsmen don't just grow trees to be used. Woodsmen watch over the forests, live with the forests, and give thanks for their bounteous blessings. When a person can do all of these, then they can be called a real woodsman. My daughter's husband is still half a man in that respect. I heard Stephen Hasty's a woodsman. That's a fact. 
More like Lancer's least favorite event. I just received word from the mine where my husband works. Seems like they discovered something incredible in a new load. I wonder what, what it is they found. Don't know. When my daddy's not around, I do my best to help out my mommy. I help her with the cooking, cleaning, and laundry, too. Don't you think I'm a big help? Sure. Sure, 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 sure. According to my sources, it looks like there's been an incident at the Purzel farm. A major incident. I wonder if I could go barging into the guild and report it to Aina. Uh-huh. Of course he did. My boy is a soldier in the Royal Army. He was posted in the Royal City before, but now he's assigned to security at the Vert Checkpoint to the West. When he gets back, I want him to give Luke a good scolding. Of course, that would be Ashton. I wonder what my son Pat wants to be in the future. Unlike Luke, who wants to be a bracer, I want him to pick a safe and stable job. I will find you, smart guy! Our nation is divided up into five regions with a central city in each. Maybe Kloss has, has been giving charge of Roland. Mayor Kloss has been giving charge of Roland, which is one of these cities. Although he's called... Old Man Kloss, because he likes to potter about in his garden. He's actually a very capable leader. Final Fantasy V style. Oh, what a troublesome little kid. Could she be taking a nap somewhere? Keep that in mind, for later. I happen to hear the Roland has quite a few skilled bracers. I've even heard that the newest two recruits are promising as well. Not only does this city have a wealth of natural resources, but it is also blessed with human resources. I wonder if the mayor of Bose would be happy if I scouted some new people commodities. <laughs> Hild! By a bug! Ms. Murano, um... I don't think we have time to be looking for new human resources. HR, even. Estelle, Joshua, how'd your own work coming along? Come take a break here every once in a while, okay? Talset style. Paddington's in the bar! Ten years ago, the Imperial Army broke through the borders and surrounded Roland. And in an effort to convince us to surrender, they bombarded the clock tower. There's more to that story. I... I apologize for making you recall those painful memories. No, it's alright, really. Eh. I'll learn more about that. Though the city and clock tower have been rebuilt, there are many unseen wounds that linger in people's hearts. Yeah, well. You have that foreigner. You have that foreigner named Shirazard at the Roland branch, right? Not only is she attractive, but she's one of my best customers, which I'm thankful for, of course. But when it comes to liquor, she's unbelievable. When I say unbelievable, I mean. <laughs> Oh, we know. I can empathize. She's normally such a beautiful, friendly young woman, too. <laughs> when Shirazard comes alone, I'm afraid because I'm the one who gets stuck talking to her all night. Uh oh. She's normally a beautiful, friendly young woman. That's a shame. A damn shame. Public shaming! I just got a message from the Purzel farm. They said that the vegetables should come in any time now. 
I'm getting my vegetables from somewhere else at the moment. But, but, Purzel Farms are the best. Guns are the best! They really are. The Purzel Farm looks like they'll start shipping vegetables again soon. I hear that they had their fields ravaged, so they hired some bracers. I heard st st Stephen Hasty failed at becoming a bracer. That's what I heard. Ba, 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 ba. Roll that landing part. Here's a dude. Don braces. How long do they intend to keep me waiting? If they don't hurry and get here, I'm going to miss my flight. I should have expected as much from a rural backwater bird like this. Bird. Huh? Well, I'll be. That's the Bracer Emblem, if I'm not mistaken. I've been waiting for you to show up. I have an urgent job. So do you have some time to hear my request? I sure do. Sure. Listen. Why not? Great. This really helps me out a lot. All right. Let me give you a rundown and explain the details of the job. Let me formally introduce myself. I am Orvid, representative for the Orvid Company Limited. I'm Estelle, and this is... LTD! Joshua, it's nice to meet you. Estelle and Joshua, is it? The two of you are quite young, if I do say so myself. <laughs> We're actually pretty new to this whole bracer thing. Greenhorns? Oh well, I guess you'll have to do. Pardon? <clears throat> Never mind. I was just talking to myself. All right, let's get down to business. Please excuse my lack of decorum, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. I am? Sure. At the moment, I'm looking for a rare mushroom called the Firefly Fungus. <laughs> Which, of course, gets referenced throughout the series. It is said that it only grows in a soil rich with septium. There are records of it being picked here in Roland, but no shops seem to carry it. That's a shame. However, it is a vital necessity that I get my hands on one, so I put in a request at the guild house. Soil rich with septium? Denied. Hmm. I can only think of the Malga Trail as a possible location. Malga! Do you know any other characteristics of these mushrooms? It seems that it normally grows in areas with patches of grass. Since it is buried in the dirt, if you don't look closely, you won't find it. I heard Stephen Haste, he likes to touch grass. Jeez, this one sounds like it's gonna be a pain. But... Once you dig one up, you'll know if it's a firefly fungus or not. For one thing, it glows with a light green color. The color of boogers. So that's why it's called a firefly fungus. Well, that makes sense. All right, have I explained things clearly enough? So basically all we need to do is find a glowing mushroom in a patch of grass along the Malga Trail, right? Mushroom, even. Looks that way to me. Well, if they're really growing in the ground, we probably won't be able to find one so easily. We gotta get to it before Mario gets it. If you run into any trouble, come back and speak with me again. You know, that jerk's just gonna steal it like a little a-hole. I ask that you find one as soon as possible. Possible style. Alright. Is there still a problem? Never mind. I ask that you find one as soon as possible. Settle down, dude. Homegrown girls are fine, but those chicks coming from the royal city in Bose have that extra layer of polished beauty. 
Speaking of the royal city, Queen Alicia's granddaughter, Princess Claudia, lives there. Rumor has that she's quite the looker. I wonder if it's true. Alan's still being a pervert over here. Our biggest freight export is, of course, septium. Since the ornament industry developed, it looks like the mine has been seeing a boom in demand. Toad style. The airliners have powerful orbital engines mounted on board. I've been told that it costs untold amounts of Mira to develop something like that. It's only through the capital investment from the royal family that these airliners have become a reality. I heard Stephen Hasty's favorite Mario character is Toad. That's what I heard. Do, 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 do. But he's up here now, by the way. Da na 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 na. Da na na na. Meh. What's going on at the old hotel? Sierra, Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta, Shield. Have you two ever met some of the other bracers that have stayed here in this very hotel? We often have bracers registered at other branches dispatched here, after all. After all, even. She's, she's not in the room anymore. That can't be good. Hmm. I'm impressed. This is a much nicer hotel than I had anticipated. The manager is extremely courteous, and the place is relaxed and immaculate. It's another kind of elegance quite different from the luxurious hotels in the Royal City. Though we came here on a pilgrimage, Roland has a wonderful locale. I think I like this place. Indeed. <laughs> I just hiccuped. I just hit Captain, it was pretty sweet. Oh, there she is. I see. I completely agree with your inspired words. Hmm. The greater the light, the darker the shadow becomes. When one's soul is touched by a blinding light, it becomes conscious of the darkness within and embraces a contrite spirit. Especially those who are tormented by the sins of their past. Like Uncle Bao Bao. However, through this ordeal, one can understand the pain and suffering of others, and reach a greater plane of insight. What is important for the individual is preparing for the future and deciding what one wants to do. Ah, just listening to him makes my brain hurt. Father Divine's sermons are always difficult for me to understand. Settle down, sir. It's gonna be alright, I promise. I will be teaching Sunday school from now on. Hope the children will listen to what I have to say. Hopefully they don't kick her in the butt. Like a certain sister we know of. Uh-oh. Do you think the mayor is even in today? The mayor. Being as busy as he is, I'm sure there's a pretty good chance that he's out. Well, bless my soul, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. Joshua style. Hi, Mayor Klaus. He's actually downstairs for once. I hope we're not disturbing you, sir, but we've come on behalf of the Bracer Guild about a job he requested. I bet we disturb his masturbation session. Fun fact. Yes, I heard from the guild that the two of you would be coming. So, you're taking over your father's work while he's away, are you? <laughs> That's as classic as it gets right there, I'll tell you what. 
trying to, at least. I'm very sorry about my dad reneging on his promise like this. There's no need for apologies. Knowing your father, it's typical for him to be swamped with work like this. Are Stephen Hasty swamped with work? Anyway, with Leet and my wife out and about, I'd like to move this conversation somewhere else. Uh oh. Why don't we head upstairs to my study and go over the details? He's gonna kill us! I mean, what? I didn't say that. In truth, I don't think you'll find this request partially difficult. And it's for that reason I think that asking the guild to do this job may have been a bit presumptuous. Unfortunately, I'm unable to get away from my work, and I had to break down and ask the guild for help. We were informed that this job involves the transport of a certain something, but what is it exactly that you would like us to carry and where? A certain something. I would like you to pick up a septium crystal from the Malga mine and deliver it here. Cool. When you say septium, do you mean like sepith that we often come across? Accurately speaking, sepith is fragmented septium, which is too small to be used as precious stones. Therefore, this sepith is refined and processed into quartz, which can be installed into orbits. So that's the difference, huh? I think I've got a better grasp on things now. We've actually been able to obtain a certain kind of septium called Esmelis from the Malga Mine since the olden days. However, since a large piece of this crystal was recently discovered, I've asked the Mine Chief to hold on to it until someone could pick it up. Oh. So, you'd like us to pick up this crystal from the Mine Chief and bring it here, is that correct? That is correct, sir. Precisely. What do you think? Is this something you think you can handle? The transport of a precious gem, huh? It'll be a nice change from fighting monsters. Should keep us on our toes, too. Alright, we'll do it. I appreciate your willingness to help. Please, take this with you. Mayor's referral. If you show that to one of the workers, they should let you into the mine. Good luck! Thanks, General Pepper. Of course, that's the next main quest, but we got some side stuff to do before that. The mine is at the north of Rorent, at the end of the Mulga Trail. So that's the same path we took to the tower. It shouldn't be too far. But we got some stuff to do before we do that. Mayor's referral. A referral from Mayor Kloss addressed to the Mine Chief at the Malga Mine. Good times. Yeah, yeah. I always gotta check all the rooms. By law. Oh, she's up here. I heard from Lita that the vegetables from the Perzo farm haven't arrived. I wonder what's going on. The vegetables from there should have a delicious fresh flavor. Oh, they're on their way now. Thanks to me. Because I always gotta save the day and such. It seems like the Perzo farm's vegetables are finally going to be shipped. By any measure, the weather certainly hasn't been bad this year. I wonder if something happened. Certainly did. Alrighty then. Oh. Thanks for finding my rock earlier. You really helped me out a ton. That said, I can't believe my mom is trying to sell folk crafts in a city that has ships that can fly. I can't believe what they've been saying about our Roland sports teams. I'm just amazed at how brazen she is when it comes to business. That's too bad. Major Kloss was weeding around the clock tower earlier. Do mayors have to do those kind of jobs? That's his hobby. 
There are even rumors that he really enjoys gardening, too. Wonder if that's why he's called Old Man Kloss. Well, aren't you glad that he's informal and accessible for everyone like that? Indeed. The garden at the, at the mayor's place is so well kept. I heard that the mayor even does it all himself. Apparently so. Mayor Kloss just came by here. He greeted me with such a big voice. Voice style. Alright, so before we do the main quest, we got some side stuff to be doing. First of all... First we want to do the mushroom hunt. The hell was that? Ah, my, my phone's dying! Oh no! It's at 20%. Just can't have that. You don't want that. I like McDonald's food. You just don't want that. Um... Sir? supposed to be. No wonder it wouldn't go in. It was the wrong side. What a jerk. What a jerk. Okay. Okay. Anywho. Oh, what is this? I got a message. My gift sub to Rage Darling has expired! Oh no! Can't do that on television. Can't even do that on pay-per-view, fries style. So we want to head out this way to find the mush boom.